I want to buy a boat. The decking has done its 15 years. I put it in in 2008. Now this end is on slabs and it's up against this border. So this is, you know, rotted quite nicely. It's all, that's all very soft in there as well. Now this bit's up against the house. So I thought this bit on gravel, it's a bit drier maybe, and probably drains a bit better. So this maybe hasn't rotted quite as badly. Let's have a look. Oh, let's go. oh no. <laughs> what about this stuff up here? Well, this, the wood feels all right. Kim's at a craft fair all day today. She's selling stuff. So while she's away, let's rip all this up, take it to the tip, build a new subframe, build a new deck. Something's been enjoying the wood. I think my strategy of putting off the job as long as, po as, long as possible was the right one. Wait until it's nice and good and rotten. It comes up a lot easier then. Cool mushrooms. That took about an hour and a half. Okay, there's a the start. If I say, let's get a boat, Kim's going to say, what do you mean get a boat? You can't look after a boat, you haven't even done the decking yet. So if I do the decking, yeah, yeah, genius. Alright, there we go, there's the uh, base frame down. Um, slight problem with the actual decking boards, I ordered them from the same place, they rang up, said, they're not in stock, I haven't been in stock since May. So I've ordered them from somewhere else. They'll get delivered Monday. So I don't get to finish this until Monday, but I have been doing this all day. Started at half past eight, six o'clock now, finished. But that's the base frame down. If you had two people, probably do this job in half a day. Annabelle helped me, we went to the tip. She helped me chuck all the wood in the tip. My, uh, some of my gravel seems to have disappeared. Some of the aggregate, so I might nip out and buy a few bags of aggregate and shore up some of these beams a little bit. Might put some noggins in, if I'm feeling in the mood for noggins, but it already feels very strong. Um, strong and stable. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the, ne the next job is the satisfying job. Get the boards, rough cut them to size, put them on, screw them in, that takes forever. And then circular saw, <laughs> down the edge, give them a straight edge. <sighs> Most importantly, Kim's back from her craft fair and she's impressed. <laughs> oh, oh, my hamstrings are sore after lifting all those boards yesterday. Feels like I've done a deadlift workout. Which I guess I have really, that was the dead lift movement, wasn't it, lifting those? So let's go on a nice uh, Healy runner course. We've had so much rain that the mud is back and the, the streams are all flowing again. Wow, well, there's water in the fjord. Not much, but there's not much. Yeah, just a splash. There's another lost path. New bridge. 
You're very excited. Down. Down. Off you go. Go on, back. Go. So I put that deck down 15 years ago. Um, and Annabelle had just been born. She's in our, <laughs> about to go into her final year of school. I was nearly 35. Uh, and if the current deck lasts another 15 years, then when I come to replace that, I'll be <laughs> nearly 65. It's so weird how time seems to forever keep rushing forward. And yet, when you look at like something like that, it feels like that was a lifetime ago. Another new bridge. We are spoilt with all these new bridges. That passing of time is something I'm acutely aware of. And I think is a big reason why um, I push myself on to get things done when I have ideas. I try not to put things off. Um, even if they're scary, particularly if they're scary. I try, you know, because time moves so fast. So if there's something I want to do, something I think will be fun, I try to make a plan and go after it and work out how I can do it. And what's the worst thing that could happen? Failure, I guess. And well, I'd rather fail than not try. And I, I've learned a lot from failing at things over the years. And they've all helped me. It's not always, a, it's not a great experience failing, but you do learn. Talking of things we've always wanted to do and time passing on, we will be walking the Pembrokeshire Coastal Path this summer. Plans are in place. Gear has been bought. We will be walking the whole coastal path, looking at everything, taking our time. Uh, over a couple of weeks, camping, carrying everything that we need. So hopefully it'll be a, a good fun challenge and hopefully, I mean this sort of weather is great, but hopefully it'll be a little bit more consistent. Oh my word, that's, that's in two weeks time. The one thing we have left to sort out is food choices. But that, should be an amazing couple of weeks. Should be. Hamstrings are actually loving these hills. They're doing fine. Where's your mum? Oh, sorry. Don't worry about me, I'm just going past. Where's your mum? It's got to be around here somewhere. I know you don't live very far away. You live over there, don't you? Are you over there? Oh, wow. Wow. Those are amazing. Golf course is looking in good condition. Oh. Where's my path gone? Uh, uh. Another beautiful view. Another beautiful Welsh view from the top of the hill of rain and mist and cloud. That thing about time marching on and trying things, that wasn't about replacing the decking. That was about buying a boat, right? Right, you understood that. That was the subtext, because decking's easy. <laughs> you, you, knew, you knew what I was talking about. Okay, there's a second subtext here. Um, some students have failed exams and are resitting them. So I'm just saying that, you know, failure is a thing, it happens. You can, yeah, you can fix it. You know, you know you've done a good job. <laughs> when do you feel like you've got to explain everything? Uh. 
Let's do an extra cut of that one. to do now is even out my gaps, screw in 440 screws and trim that edge so it's nice and straight. 500 screws. 439 to go. Last one. Fresh bleed. I'm done. I'm tired. Well, apart from putting some end grain, you know, sealer stuff. That's a quick paint, five minutes. Other than that, I'm done and I'm tired. Um, unless of course Kim wants to stain it, but ah, job done.